that style that um, is like the Brendan Ingle style, I don't particularly look at it. I disrespect, no disrespect to Brendan Ingle. I don't think that was a Brendan Ingle style. I don't see how our, our, our Irish guy could come and teach like a loose limb kind of like a, a black style of fighting yeah. to, to you. Uh, who, let's just get the story. Who was the originator of that kind of style? The originator of my style is myself in the sense that because I, I, I started off in Nottingham. Uh, oh, everything starts in Nottingham. It's just that I left Nottingham to come to Sheffield. Mm -hmm. um, and when I went to Brendan's, but everybody was standing with their hands up in the air like so and yeah. uh, one, two, one, two and everything like that. And I, I literally changed his gym. I can remember the, I went up on a Sunday, I went up with this guy called Kevin Sheehan who knew Brendan very well. And I was a bit disgruntled at my club, so I, I went to Brendan's gym. And I took my style with me. And he says, this is no style, this is, this is something s stupid, this is, I want this, and he wanted it. And so, ever since that day, he changed his gym to do the same thing as I did. And that's how, the, that's how Brendan started. He did a good job, mind you. He changed everybody in his gym, Robert Wakefield, Mick Mills, all the lot. He tried changing a fighter, he couldn't change a fighter, but a lot of the other guys like, um, changed him, Johnny Nelson, Naz, because Naz lived down the road from me, and like uh, Naz, he, I had him under my wing, so. Yeah, uh, I remember with, the yeah. fight that you yeah. had with uh, Ricky Steakhouse. Oh, yeah, Steakhouse, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. You and Ricky Steakhouse. Yeah. And, and, uh, and. Don Castor. Uh, yep. And, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and you doing a number on, on, on Stackhouse. Because um, remember, Stackhouse came over here and, uh, and he, he fought, I, I think he fought, um, what's he playing? He, he fought Earl Christie. I think, yeah, that's right. He fought yeah. Earl Christie before he fought me. Yeah. yeah. And, you know then, and so we thought, um, yeah. we'll go there. Yeah. And, uh, and I remember seeing a little Asian kid in the corner <laughs> at the end of the fight. Like, you should always take him yeah. around and everything. He went like, to me, yeah. Like, how, yeah. Like, how, how, how influential do you think you were on a, on a young Messi Mohammed? Obviously, that's quite influential. I mean, Brendan knows who I was because that's why Brendan left. They didn't go with me. We, we, I mean, we lived up the on the same road anyway. So every time I came training, uh, Nas was there. If I went somewhere with it, I went to Tom Cabrera Hotel when I bought for the World Championship. He went with me as well. He was my sparring partner. <laughs> believe it, believe it or not, just messing around, so just sparring with each other. Uh, so anywhere I went. You know, Naz would be there all the time.